So I just pulled this starter out of this van, this E350, the 351. And the problem that it had is that it would go clack, 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 clack. Well, the engine went. No, 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 You get the idea. So I pulled some screws out of it, and we're going to take it apart, and I'm going to show you what's in a starter and what makes it worse. First of all, worst <laughs> work, work it. Okay, so this is a starter solenoid. It has two jobs. It works as a switch to engage the motor. You look on the back of this, you've got three studs that stick out. Some of them will have four. They'll have two little ones, and then they'll have two big ones. Now the big ones just work as an electromagnetic switch. You've got a positive lead that's positive to the battery all the time or to a fender mounted solenoid as Ford often has a redundant solenoid. Uh, but basically, in the, you just got those two and this wire when it gets power it trips the electromagnetic switch and bam you've got power. So if you were to run from here to here that would be the same as running it from the battery to the ignition switch and then from the ignition switch to here so you can jump start a starter and make it go by having these two get supply or power. So anyway, to, when you pull it off, you pull that off that's one half of the switch. The other half of the switch is uh, spitting out the Bendix. You see how the drive gear or Bendix gear the starter and there's that. When you put this in it's got a little plunger switch on it. There you are and you just stick that over the top of it and then there's two screws that hold it in there you can see right there so what it does is it pulls back on that thing and when it pulls back it spits the gear out see I can push it in with my finger and make it withdraw but it does that too but you've got this electromagnetic switch uh, here that actuates or spits out the Bendix. Sometimes you'll hear a starter go but it doesn't spit out the Bendix. That's when this part of the solenoid's bad. Um, if this is bad, it won't spit that out. It'll just spin when it's in here and your flywheel engages it right here or it should when you go to start the car. So two electromagnetic things happening here. This pulls back which spits this out using that little fork. You'll see that in more detail here in just a minute. And then also it connects these which connect to the electric motor. You can see that there's that little wire on the back side of here. That goes to the brushes back here and makes the electric motor go. So we spit it out and we make it go. So this gives it power to go. This is the electric motor that turns it. This is a Bendix that gets spit out. This is a very typical design for a starter. Um, let's see pull out these screws. You can leave these ones in there. They're a six millimeter. They're just to your brushes and they'll make it really hard to... So this has a little bit of gear reduction to it. You got three planetary gears and a sun gear. This is a sun gear. These are the little planetary gears. And your electric motor uh, just has that little gear. So it works kind of like a winch. You know, it just uh, gears it down so that you get good uh, pull. And there's that little uh, fork that we were seeing earlier. So Anyway, I'm going to take a break and I'll be right back. So let's take a look at this starter, shall we? Um, I showed you the planetary gears. You can pop all of this out of there. It'll come out as an assembly. This will make it easier for me to put it together. But see how simple that is? It's just like a... Ah! Bail out, bail out. See, it's just like a clutch fork. You know, the way it spits the Bendix out and it just rides on a little bearing. It's got a spring-loaded return. So, not super rocket science, pretty basic. Um, as for the motor part of it, and what and these typically never fail. They last forever, you know, pretty much. And this just goes in like that, just to show you. So I'm supporting that with my finger as I put it in. You want to make sure that that little ring stays on. But you just take that and drop it in there. Kaplunk. Just line up your little holes for your screws. You know, the ones that come out the back, little eight millimeter long, long ones. So set those over there. And here's where the real exciting stuff comes in. I dump the plate off. I'm just gonna dump it out. It's gonna be harder to put together later, but this way I won't have to edit the video. 
when you look down in there, you see those four X-Wing fighter things, little Star Wars action going on. Those are the brushes, and those are a wear item. When those wear out, they've got little springs. Like, I'll take a bolt and I'll show you. Um, there's, ah, you got magnets all around. But anyway, you see how these are spring-loaded? You can kind of push them in like that. So when these wear down, they just get smaller and smaller, just like brake pads wear out or anything else. And where they make contact is on this. And so these typically, they don't wear out real fast. Usually you'll put two or three sets of brushes before this will groove in real deep. Now this starter's bad in that, you know, it's got a couple of dead spots or burn spots on it that was causing it to not go. Um, trying to see exactly what it would be. Maybe it's where this came off here or something. Usually you have a black burn mark, like your battery got worn down real low. And uh, it, then you go start it, and then those brushes, and there's not enough power to turn it, so it just kind of sits there and burns and sizzles on it, and it makes a, a bad spot. So when that's the case, and that's what I was expecting, to be honest with you, is to just uh, get in there buzz on it. And you don't want to take off a lot of material, you just want to clean it up. You can just go through and clean these to where they're not too shabby. This one actually has a lifetime warranty on it anyway. I shouldn't even bother doing any of this, but I thought it'd be a fun video. And I thought for sure I'd see some real distinct burn marks, but that didn't happen. Well, I go to put this back together, I'm gonna have to take off uh, this back side here, and that should come off. It's just really stuck, and with the magnet pull and the pressure and everything. But see all the crud in there? I mean, there's just, I mean, oil and dust and dirt and all kinds of junk in there, and that can contribute to the burn marks. And then this brush set, this just screws on with these two screws. Um, but say you want to put this back together, the easiest way to do it is to just take it off and put this onto this first, and then put everything together and then put those little screws in. Um, otherwise, see these little holes? Um, let's see, yeah, it's got a lot of life left in these brushes, this shouldn't be bad. Uh, sometimes they'll have a, like a little holder pin or something, or a little hole drilled in these, and you can just put a pin in it, and then put it on, and then after you've got your uh, coil in there, you can just pull out the pins and they'll hold it. So, I think this just has a dead spot on account of just all the crud in here. I mean, that's just filthy dirty with stuff debating whether to just warranty it out or just clean it out and throw it in but anyway there's your starter basics you can oftentimes buy brushes for these things online um, typically you'll expect to pay about 20 bucks for this for the whole starter you might get it for 100 bucks 120 bucks uh, but typically it's just the brushes if you want to look and see if this is grooved too bad or not this one's clearly not grooved that bad it's got a lot of life this uh, wearing off here and this cracking kind of has me wondering. Uh, but anyway, and sometimes you'll have, now this is a really tightly, you know, well protected kind of a coil. But sometimes you'll have little contacts or wire wraps that are, go around here. And over time they wear out or they get hot and crack. And then you just got to re-solder them all the way around. And then that'll fix them. So... Anyway, that's it. And when this one, like I say, the solenoid's good because it, every time you hit that key, it would go click, click, click. It just wouldn't rotate the motor. So that's why I was thinking it was brushes or burn mark. It's something in here that was causing the problem because the solenoid was good. And most of the rest of this was good, but it just had a dead spot. So anyway, there's my video about starters and how they work. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, click thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, click subscribe. What do you think of my hat? Pretty cool hat, huh? I've been throwing it, the hat in all these videos. I'm all excited when I get a new hat. And I love Eric. He's an awesome guy. But uh, I don't know how much of these will make it into videos or not. But I bet this one will. Uh, if you want a hat like this, you just click the link below. Uh, it's the one that says Cafe Press. And you can get a cool hat too. So what I've done is I've taken the brushes and put them on like you see there. 
and I'll hold two of them in with one finger and put it in and just kind of support it with my thumb and then you take a screwdriver and then you push one, one brush whichever one's closer you can pull it down with your finger pull the other one down and just work it on then spin it rotate it as you go down on and uh, as far as this goes um, you just put a little grease on it clean it out I've uh, cleaned out the uh, magnet assembly that goes on the other part of it. So this lines up with here, so you can't mess that up. Go ahead and put your screws on. Stick them in like that. Doing it on camera is a little bit tough because you're thinking about the camera, not what you're doing. So I'll say things wrong and I'll probably mess something up, but this is fun. Right? Right. Whee! So that's in there real good and snug. And now the tricky part. Getting it to go in here. You'll notice that I've got a little cutout that accommodates a little wire or cable. So I meet this with my finger because the magnets are going to take hold of it and they're going to start vandalizing or try to pull it out of my hand and try to pull uh, this with the things off. And i got to start over. So I've got that together looks good and that's all been cleaned out with brake parts cleaner compressed air and then a wire brushed it with a stainless steel wire brush so it's full of rust and crap so that's all together I'm gonna take this one wipe it down just a little it's got a little bit of metal filings and the like on it okay so next step <laughs> put your little rubber plug in right there keep the water and dirt and crud out and then Actually, is it this one first? I don't know. I'm getting bored of this project and I didn't get enough sleep last night, so I'm just kind of off my game. The little girl just keeps having nightmares and she keeps watching shows that give her nightmares. I'm like, enough. Quit it. You know, quit with the whole subjecting yourself to scary things that you're just going to give you nightmares. It's just, it just doesn't make any sense. So I get that in there, and then put your rubber plug in, just like that. Uh, double check your holes, make sure that those are the holes that you need and they're not just for the other pins that go in. These are threaded, so we can bet that that's what we want. And uh, take this, line it up with a little notch. Give a little twist so that the gears get happy. And that goes in fine. And take your bolts, drop them in. And then you just get your socket and just zip them on down. And then once they're in place, you take your solenoid and line it up so that you have the right... Let's see, which way's up and down on this? I can cheat because it was on there before and see the little mark that that goes down. And then deducing from that, I can say that the one that goes with the little switch solder goes uh, for the trigger to make it start goes to the one that goes to the battery. I cheat. I use the dirt. So it goes just like that. I'll take it over and put all the rest of the little screws into it. And voila! The starter is ready. You want to know why I didn't see any burn marks? where the brushes are. It wasn't that. <laughs> it was this. It was like the solenoids worn out and loose so that's why it was working and not working. It isn't that fun. So I will just warranty that out or I could just buy a new solenoid but that shouldn't be loose. So I can cause part of it to work you know for spitting the Bendix out but not have enough to be able to electro switch down to the electromagnetically switch the power to the motor.